residential areas, merchant shops, hotels, factory, and agricultural lands. More than 8,000 properties have become owned by Iranians in the past four years, according to the report by the Records Management in Damascus. This is in addition to tens of thousands of properties that have also been taken over by the Iranian militias and have not been officially accounted for by the records management. What is happening in Damascus? Through more than two decades, Iran has strived to buy various properties and merchant shops that are in close proximity to the Shia centers in Damascus and its suburbs. It claims to do so in order to guarantee residency and safety for Shia pilgrims and visitors. With the outbreak of war in Syria, Iran has taken advantage of the consistently weakening economy and continued buying various properties in Damascus. The amount of Iranian money in the exploitation of these properties has reached 3 billion 400 million US dollars and the percentage of Iranian investments in Syrian lands has reached more than 35%. Iran has also bought several hotels in downtown Damascus, including Kalda, Iwan, Asya, El Bitra, and Al Safir, and it now owns more than half the land in quarters of Old Damascus. This is in addition to owning the Iranian embassy, the area behind the Al Razi hospital, which ultimately equates to 20% of the area of Damascus. Through this, Iran has gained contracts to establish 200,000 residential units for hundreds of thousands of Shias, who will eventually gain Syrian citizenship in order to shift the Shia-Sunni ratio in Syria. So will Iran be successful in its attempts to change the demographics of Damascus, the capital of Syria?